What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to another Memeology 101 video. So this one we have, when your own government hates your guts with a passion. Uh, so yeah, I think this is about the UK and the riots, uh, protests that are going on right now. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, but link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. PM Keir Stama, uh, people protesting rise in immigrant related crimes are clearly racist. By the way, they've had uh, a, a two more stabbings of children since this. By I'm immigrants. in Northern Ireland here today uh, for three purposes. Firstly, to meet the PSNI officers who've been on the front line during this disorder. Many of them have been injured. And my purpose was to say to them, thank you for what they have done. We make big asks of them, they step up, and they deserve our thanks. I've also had the chance to speak to the PSNI senior... Man, in the terms of the UK, normally I'm a support the police kind of guy, right? In terms of the UK, I, I don't know how you can support the, the UK police, right? You have these police officers in, enforcing laws against speech, right? If you criticize the government, right? For for stuff that people have voted for, right? Again, I've mentioned this a couple times. Out of the last 60 years, the British public has only voted for the person talking about increasing immigration three times. Every other time they voted to decrease it or to outright stop it. And yet, immigration continues to rise. It has risen pretty much every year. I think the one exception was the first year of COVID for the past 60 years. But you can go back to, like, the late 60s, the early 70s, when there was, like, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 people coming in. And you can look at the elections, and the, the winner got elected on a platform of stopping immigration. You know, less immigration, too many immigrants. The, the 80s, you know, yet, uh, you, a, you know, a couple tens of thousands of people, same thing. The 90s, you start to get into the hundreds of thousands of people, same thing. The 2000s, you start to get into the low millions, same thing. And now you have millions of people coming in a year. People have been voting since it was like 50,000 people a year to reduce it. And they voted over and over and over again that they want to reduce it, and they never reduce it. And then now when people start to protest against that, you go out and arrest them, right? So like they're, they're mad that they didn't get what they voted for for almost 60 years straight. And then you have the one, the thing where you LARP as a democracy, right? You sit there and pretend that the UK is a democracy. And two, the, the, the police are out there actually enforcing this. Like, uh, yeah, normally I'm a respect the police kind of guy, but when it comes to the UK police, I just don't know how anyone can. In your leadership about the challenges that they face and the, the support that they need. And then third and very importantly, to speak to some of the communities most impacted about the fear uh, that they have, the anxiety that they have about the recent disorder. The disorder is intolerable. It is incapable of justification. It's clearly racist. And it does not represent the modern, forward-looking Northern Ireland that I know that this place is. So I'm very pleased to achieve all those three things today and to work with all communities, to work with the PSNI and others, to ensure that we handle this situation, not just the immediate disorder, but also the longer term work that's necessary to ensure that we have that one Northern Ireland approach that I know represents the Northern Ireland, uh, uh, modern Northern Ireland uh, of the future. The disorder is intolerable. It is incapable of justification. It's clearly racist. Famous <laughs> Dahmer when he listens, he's gonna stabbed to death on a daily basis. You shout like that, they, they put you in jail. Stop right away. Two, two no system. trial, no, yeah. no nothing. Right to jail, jail, jail. Believe it or not, jail. You right to jail. Believe it or not, jail, right away. Also jail. <laughs> also jail. Yeah, again, this is people mad that they've voted for the same thing for 60 years and not gotten it, right? Like, I've heard a lot of criticism about the UK of you get what you vote for. The thing is, they didn't vote for this, right? They've spent the last 60 years where all but three elections, they voted against immigration. And it still increases every year, right? You can't vote your way out of this. If you could, it wouldn't have happened in the first place. But 
Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.